Hello there. Welcome to our video. In this video, we will take a closer look at cathode material and guide you through the process of its pH measurement. Let's jump right in and get it started. I will be stepping back for a moment, but you never know. Have you ever stopped to think about what makes our smartphones, laptops, and electric vehicles so powerful and long-lasting? It's none other than the lithium-ion batteries, and more specifically, the cathode materials. That's the heart of the battery, which is made up of a cathode active material, carbon black, and a polymer binder. These ingredients are mixed to form a slurry, which is then coated onto aluminum foil, to create the cathode. Did you also know that maintaining the pH of the cathode material is crucial to ensure its optimal function? Without it, your battery's capacity and lifespan can be significantly reduced. But here's the challenge. Measuring the pH of cathode material can be a bit tricky. The slurry's particulate nature can clog up the ceramic junction of the pH sensor, which makes it hard for the electrolyte to flow and interact with the sample. Upon that, the pH of the slurry is alkaline, so the sensor shaft can get damaged easily due to a lack of chemical resistance. Mettler Toledo offers the InLab Max Pro ISM sensor which is designed to handle these challenges. Its immovable glass sleeve junction ensures steady outflow of electrolyte. Plus, the pH-sensitive highly alkaline membrane glass is extremely durable and specifically designed to work with alkaline samples. With ISM technology, you can keep your calibration history and sensor information safe and secure. And with the built-in temperature probe and automated temperature compensation functionality, temperature effects won't mess up your pH readings. Oof, that's a lot of tech talk. Let's shift our focus to some real lab work and dive into calibration. Do you want to make sure your sensor is calibrated regularly using Mettler Toledo standard pH buffer solutions? Now, here's where it gets a bit technical. When calibrating, make sure these pH buffers bracket the expected sample pH. And remember, a slope of 95 to 105 percent and an offset of 0 mV plus or minus 20 mV confirm that your electrode is doing its job properly. Oh, and don't forget to always use fresh pH buffers of high quality. And guess what? Nobody likes a wonky reading. Alright, now you're ready to measure pH of cathode material. Take 2.5 grams of carbon black and cathode active material and mix them separately with water and methanol in beakers. For cathode slurry, disperse lithium cobalt oxide with conducting additive carbon black and binder poly, vinylidene fluoride, in N-methyl pyrrolidone solvent. Just dip your InLab Max Pro ISM sensor in the sample beakers, making sure the sensor junction is totally submerged. If your protocol calls for it, you can also stir the sample to give it a little whirl. And don't worry, it won't get to see. Just remember to record the pH and sample temperature. And just like that, pH measurement becomes a breeze. How about some pH sensor care tips to keep it happy and healthy? After each measurement, give your sensor a thorough cleaning with deionized water, and maybe a little ethanol or acetone to get rid of any organic matter. Just blot dry with some tissue paper and you're good to go. Be gentle, no rubbing. For a little extra care, give your sensor a periodic 0.1 molar HCl reconditioning. When you're done measuring, give your sensor a cozy home in the wedding cap filled with Mettler Toledo in lab storage solution. Think of it like a little spa day for your sensor. So, if you're tired of getting inconsistent readings for cathode slurry sample and feeling like you're playing a guessing game, it's time to upgrade to the Mettler Toledo in Lab Max Pro ISM. Reliable and accurate results every time. Thanks for tuning in and happy measuring!